Hello, this is Gabriel with abugames.com. Do another cube. And this card, I think, is nerfed. I don't think it works. At least I don't know how to cast it. Every time I try to pay X, I can't pay more than one with it. So, anywho, this pack has got nothing too spectacular in it. Um, Baneslayer is pretty dang good. Um, but I think I'm just going to take Polluted Delta. Yep. This pack has Bonfire. It's alright. Buried Alive. Necromancy. It's a combo. Maybe I should try that. Alright, I'm going to take the Buried Alive. Because... I'm going to try the Reanimator deck. I've never done it before. This could be a total fail, but if you're going to start with the Reanimation, you're going to start with Buried Alive. So, yep, doing it. Otherwise, I'd take Drowned Catacomb, but this could be fun. I've never done it before, so. Okay, Putrefy. None of this stuff really does anything for me. I guess Liliana Vess. It's a Planeswalker. She could just take that. Or I could take Underground River. Um, or a Dual Land. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take Planeswalker. Plus, this is actually uh, a way to discard. Target player discards a card so you can target yourself if I have a reanimation thing going. Huh. What's what's up with this pack? Um, yeah. I guess I'll just... You know, I, could, I don't think I want to... I'm gonna take planeswalkers, I guess. Maybe I'll just start doing do the planeswalker thing again. It's been pretty, pretty successful for me. I wonder if we could do the reanimation with the planeswalker theme at the same time it's possible sublime archangel I don't think I want any of this stuff so I will take lava claw reaches Yep. Oh, this is pretty powerful. Nah. I'll take this. Future Sight. Powder Keg. Mirari's Wake. Pretty powerful stuff. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I actually liked this card a lot more than I thought I would last time I had it. I think maybe I'll take the top. Yeah, I'm going to take the top. Seems like that would be pretty good with 
Um, if you're playing a bunch of colors. All right, I think I'm going to take Hollowed Fountain here. Yep, Hollowed Fountain it is. Oh, the Draco Genius. That's a bit I'm a big fan of Draco Genius. Ancient Tomb might be better though. Ancient Tomb is pretty silly. It's just a big donk, I guess. You don't get a chance for Ancient Tomb that often. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Ancient Tomb. That's kind of a tough one, I'd say. Ch -ch -ch memory Jar. Okay, going to go with Sulfurous Springs. I, I guess Memory Jar, is, it was really good in the Holiday Cube with the Moxes and stuff. You could uh, just throw everything down the table and play Memory Jar. And without the fast mana, it's not it's not as good. All right, I'm going to go Drown Catacomb for sure. And then, whoa, Emrakul. Hmm. Tradewind Rider. I guess there's Murmuring Bosk. I'm going to take Emrakul. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that to work at all, but... Alright, Tidings is a super good, I guess. Kind of slow, but... Volcanic Fallout might be good. Ooh, that's a tough one. Terminus or Powder Keg? I think Terminus with the top. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Powder Keg, although, like I said... It worked good for me the last time I played it. Better than I. Better than I've had it work. Better than I thought it was gonna work. I just kind of added it as a last card and did a lot of good stuff. Oh wow! Treat the angels. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna take. There is flooded plain. Flood plain. So I'm gonna put a. I really want to get a brain guys or a brainstorm now. Treat the angels. Treat the angels with Liliana Vest. Pretty sweet. Karn. Gristlebrand. Yeah. Supreme Verdict. There's some sickos in this pack. Um, yeah, I don't think I want anything. Eh, nothing's better than Karn. Gristlebrand might be better than Karn. I do have Buried Alive. But, and Animate Dead's in this pack, too. Animate Dead. No, I'm going to go with Karn. Not really. I do want. I would like to try the reanimation thing, but I don't have an. I mean, I don't know. How do I pass Karn? That's impossible. Ulamog. And Obliterator. I don't see that happening. Fiend, Edric. Can I somehow cast this Ulamog? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to take Ulamog, I think, because there's nothing. Courthuser, I mean, that's okay. None of this other stuff even matters to me. And if I can figure out a way to play these Emrakul and Ulamogs, I've got two Kozilex. I can, I know, I can bury it alive them and then shuffle them back in. Uh, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Balance. That card's pretty busted. 
Ooh, Eureka. Alright, well. I guess Eureka's the plan. With two with Karn, Ulamog, and Emrakul? Yeah. I gotta go with this. Channel. Alright, so I'm definitely going green. Trying to just do the busted things now. Yep. Okay, so... Ooh, Mystical Tutor for Entreat the Angel. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Certainly don't want Winter Orb. Alright, so... What do I want to be on? Blue, white, green? Bant? That's a pretty good card for... The, um give up on black? I don't know. Let's see. I definitely want to be playing green now, so... and usually you want to play blue, so I think I can just go for the Bant Charm. Alternatively, I could go Oblivion Stone. Yeah, maybe I'll just do Oblivion Stone. Yeah, that's that's probably a little bit better. Aristocrat, Godless Shrine, Boiler Works, Blood Gift Demon. I'm a big fan of Blood Gift Demon, but I need a the dual land, so. Black, white, Godless Shrine. Could I play all but red, maybe? Plan on every color but red? In which case I want the Arkham Sanctum, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I probably should take Godless Shrine there, but hard to say. Kaiga. Floodplain or Kaiga? another good thing to uh, Eure uh, to Eureka into play. Yeah, I think I'll take the Kaiga. I don't really like these flood these lands. All right, Kaiga. Whoa, Gristlebrand? I could take Disc. How's Gristlebrand in here? Alright, so I'm taking Gristlebrand so I can potentially bury it alive it. Oh, also Gristlebrand with Eureka. So green, white, that's what I need, a dual land. What else would be good? Balance is always super good. Pristine Talisman, I'd like to have that card. But balance is super nutsoid. Alright, Mind's Desire it is not a Mind's Desire deck. Or could it be? I like Histrodon. Hmm. I'm going to take the Mind's Desire, even though... Okay. Fertile Ground, for sure. Tainted Pack. That's a good one. Especially if I get enough non-basics, I can pretty much get... I could easily make my deck have no more than one of any card. Exile a top card layer. You may put that card in your hand. Unless it has the same name as another card. Repeat the product. Yeah, so you can just pretty much get anything you want. Alright, so... Usually a pretty big fan of opposition, but I don't think this deck is turning into an opposition deck. Okay. I think I want to take this Fear of the Suns. That should help me get the colors I need. 
There's Vampiric Tutor. That might yeah, wheel, I was going to say, but probably not. Actually, I, I, just, I just really need the Sphere of the Suns. Okay. Ooh, Sphinx's Revelation. Man, this pack is sick. War, Sword of War, Jace. What do I like better, Jace or Sphinx's Revelation? Sundering Titan. That's good with Channel as well. And Eureka. Man, I'm going to have all the fat. I got too many. <laughs> Channel, Sphinx's Revelation. Wow, that's pretty cool too. I just want to. I think I just want to take Sphinx's Revelation. That's just so good. Counter spell is pretty good too, but I don't know. Maybe Jace is better because you don't have to. You can play it early. It's a tough one. All right, I'm gonna go with. Ah, I'm gonna go Sphinx of Revelation. What else is good? Linvala, Parallax Wave, Capsize. Hmm. What else? Hmm. Or a forest card. I don't have any. Nah, I don't want wood elves. I could take savage lands. Gives me black or green. Uh, I think I'll just take miscalculation. I could take capsize. That's pretty good, but I have a lot of cards. All right, taking miscalc. Tinker. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune. That would have been good. Yogmoss will. Heartbeat of Spring. That's what I need. Heartbeat of Spring. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I definitely can use the Heartbeat of Spring. I have so many big, big, huge things. Okay. Heartbeat it is. Ooh, Time Warp. That would be good. Um, Primal Command, that'd be pretty good too. I think I want the Time Warp. Okay. Am I on board with that? Maybe this is better though. Non-creature permanent, gain 7, search for... Nah. Let's go Time Warp. Tundra, sweet. Wasteland. There's some good cards in here in Tomb. I didn't get any reanimate. I passed some reanimation stuff. I guess I could have done it if I had just stuck to my guns, but didn't have it in me today to do that. Alright. Let's go Tundra. Dismember, Attrition, Demir Charm, Thirst. Some pretty good cards here. Um, I think I want the land, though. I think I just want a stirring wildwood. Finhorn elves? No. I kind of need dismember, but I don't know. I'm going to take the land. Flooded Grove, that's good. <laughs> Alright, Flooded Grove, you're in. Getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten dual lands, that's not enough. Not enough! What do we got? 
I'd blast. I guess this thing's a thing. Smokestack. I don't want to do that. I could take. Nah, I'm just going to take the Viscera. Whoa. Counterspell, Misdirection. Definitely taking Counterspell. That's a. That's pretty cool. Moments Peace, par Parallax Wave. Um. Activate ability of creatures you put control. Uh, I guess I'll take Parallax Wave. <sighs> It'd be pretty good with balance, I s maybe. I could ba Parallax Wave out all my creatures. Not that I have very many. Yeah, I've got some good channel targets. Channel Karn turn two. That seems pretty unfair. Golgari Rot Farm. I don't have anything to tinker. Yep. Oh, the Primal Command. Sweet. Death Cloud. Uh, I'm going to take the Gargadon because I don't want to... Oh, sweet. Demir Charm is the last pick. That's good. Alright, this is an interesting deck. I don't know if it's any good. But it'll be fun if I can make the things happen. I don't think I got enough wraths, though, to really be call it a good deck. I'm not sure about Tidings, Kaiga, Mind's Desire. I just wanted to play Mind's Desire so I could. Uh, you know, flip over one of these guys. I guess Mind's Desire with top is good. Tainted Pact. I don't think Buried Alive is going to do anything for me. Let's see. Grizzle Bran. Heartbeat Eureka. Sphinx's Revelation. Emrakul stuff. I think the Lotus Bloom would be good in this deck. Definitely Sphere of Suns. Huh. Yeah, I got a lot of cards. Tidings. A Johnny. I don't think a Johnny would be that good in this deck. I don't have enough dudes. Hmm. Time warp. <sighs> Lotus Bloom. I think Lotus Bloom would be good in this deck. Because I can. Yeah. A lot of big, huge spells. Alright, I think I'll stick with this configuration. Yeah. Okay. Flooded Grove. Rot Farm. Ancient Tomb for sure. Sank Brushland. Stirring Wildwood. Not that. Tundra. Hollowed Fountain. Not that. Polluted Delta. Wow, I'm going to have to play a lot of basics. It's annoying. Green basically suggest. I think I want one more green, black. I think it don't need that much black. One swamp should be good. Two planes. How many white do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six.
six, seven, eight islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. All right. That's a ton of basics. Oh, that makes my tainted pack way worse. That sucks. Hmm. Sheesh. I don't know any way around it, though. I could play these cards. No, that doesn't seem worth it. <sighs> no. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should play something like Oblivion Stone instead of the Tainted Pack. Or Demir Charm instead. Nah. I'll just go with this. <laughs> 